I put on with it. Yeah. And I understand that this shit wasn't easy, but nigga, we did it. Yeah, yeah. And all them hoes and all them niggas that wasn't fucking with us, now we them niggas. And now we rich, now we got money. I don't give a shit, no. And we did it. Young nigga come up from nothing, now he gettin' to them riches And it's the life of a young, rich nigga Yo, 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 yo What's up out there? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's the best podcast in the land. You already know who it is. It's your boys, The Rise Podcast, man. With your boy, Coach Squeeze, a.k.a. The Smoothie King. Right back at y'all. What another one. How y'all doing, man? God bless y'all, man. Look, check this out, man. Y'all coming in the chat tonight, man. Hit that like button coming through the door, man. Stop playing. Hit that subscribe button, man. Congratulations. We went up. We 21.8. So we we moving up on a on a uh on a uh slowly but surely grind, man. So congratulations to us. We went from 21.7. We at 21.8. Somebody listening. All right, y'all. Y'all know what we do over here. God bless each and every one of you in the chat, man. We're going to talk boxing tonight. Gensu knife style. Shaolin. I told my teacher. She killed the pebble off of her head. Boy, I remember that. The dollar movies. All right. Five-time world champ, four different weight classes, first ballot, Hall of Famer, him promotions. Redesigning minds right at a time. We know mine is a terrible thing to waste. Shout out to www.kanichibad.com. Use code TRP. You'll get 15% off, man. I went over to that page. That page fire, yo. I'm going to be draped this summer. It's your law. Shout out to www.narshlipgallery.org. Use code R-I-Z-E to make a that dream 10. People always say, what the hell does that mean? R-I-Z-E 10. Go over to Damari page. We're going to get these young men paid. Blow them up. Shout out to www.meakillerb.com. Go over to her page. Get her merch. It's on and pop. Been. Yeah, baby. Shout out the rest in peace, John Boy, man. God bless you, man. It was an honor meeting you, man. It really was, man. Honor, rest in peace, King. Uh, he opened the gates for us in Vegas, man. It was an honor and a privilege. Um, shout out the uh EOE education over everything. My brother movement, shout out to Bad Girls Promotions featuring Miss Nikki and Coach Brandy and the whole crew, Miss Yaya, everybody who ever played a part in the Bad Girls Promotions. Um, shout out the uh, Four Corners Boxing featuring Maurice and Jenny Jones. They be having us looking fly at the um, fights, man. Shout out to them guys, man, over there. 15 rounds of boxing every Wednesday. Check them out, man. They got some fire content. Um, shout out to Rise Inc. Thanks for the platform. Shout out to um Coach Calvin and Coach Kenny Way. Come on down to 1901. Get your Sherry's Essentials 12 rolls for seven dollars. I repeat, Coach Calvin and Coach Kenny Way, get your Sherry's Essentials. Shout out to Under Armour. Y'all see it. You understand? You understand? Yeah, and the building, y'all got a freshie, too. She fresh. Um, last but not least, the official gear boxing 
Everybody win it. And we in the house with it. We better throw that thing on soon. It's about to get damn warm. We ain't put it on yet. I might have to. Yeah. Say it with me in the chat. One, two, three. In the place to be. Box. Raw. Shout out to all ass ass at the national. Uh. He a little under the weather tonight, but he a pop here, there. If not, we're going to keep him in our prayers so he can feel better. You know what I mean? They held it down. He held it down yesterday. You know what I mean? Him and the crew just doing the, the building and 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 uh holding it down, man. Appreciate you guys. Much love. I got a good one tonight. Uh, carrots, watermelon, extra virgin olive oil, black seed oil, garlic, and that's it. Over some ice. Mm. Refreshing, delicious, healthy for you. No chemicals. Breaking our bodies down, man. Yeah, make them healthy choices in life, man. You got to invest in your body, man, and the mind to follow. Let me go on over here to the chat. Y'all already know we do. We already chop it up, man. I'm telling you, man. If y'all can use chopsticks, bring them out. If not, get a fork. If not, use your fingers. It's about to go down tonight. And the DM hit me in the DM. Um, Daryl Hopkins, what it do? The best podcast all of boxing, the rise. Thank you, brother. God bless you, Miss Tanya Van Dross Jr. Come on, she getting it cranked up, y'all. Smoothie King, right back at y'all. What another one? Uh, shout out, um, the Miss Tanya Van Dross Williams Jr. Thanks for the color in the chat. Justin James, just do Smoothie King Senior, Showtime a Guy, Real Deal Israel, Hardcore, Baltimore, Maryland, Peace, Love, Happiness, GTD, Abdul, uh, him, him, him. Um, thanks, Miss Tanya. Appreciate you. Um, make sure y'all keep Miss Tanya in y'all prayers, man. Let's keep praying that God. Touch her body, give us strength, and to uh, a, re a speedy recovery, man. Because she do so much. Shout out to Brother Hassan, man. He been supporting the Smoothie program, man. Shout out to Brother Hassan, man. Showing the gym much love. Whatever I ask him for, he go get it. Come back, man. He leave. He ain't ain't no sweat about it, man. Shout out to Brother Hassan. Shout out the Cal Al Cooler. Shout out to Gregory Pat. All the people, man, uh, um, that show love, man. Whenever I ask for help for the kids, man, y'all come through, man. I got some things I, I'm, I'm about to do. I did a little something for the kids the other day. I, I, I gave them a little sign and gave them some little boxing gloves. Put a little autograph on it that told them, take it home and put it on that man in peace. They were so pumped and stoked. Um, I, I'm going to pray to my Lord and say that I could do more for them. And um, whatever I could do to help them stay on the right path. And remind them that doing the right thing is always a good thing. No matter what the world tell you, the people in the world. All right, y'all. Let me get on over here to the chat. Show some love. Miss Lorena, number one of our queens in the building. Soldier J, 86 Baby Murray. Stretched out boxing. Branson being... B Boxing News, Cosmic Lando, Ace, um, Millen Films, Soldier J, Naheem the Shine, Cock, 
Boxer Pro Day 2027. Peace. Need that. For Gustav's El Neil the third. Yo, yo, yo. Control Log you. Um, Scout Scrap. What it do, man? Man, you ain't had one of the smoothies in a minute, Scout. Hope everything working for you, brother. Peace and blessings, man. Cosmic Land, dude. What it do, baby? Lord's 4500. Big Ray. Fa, 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 fa. Dwayne Haskins. What it do, baby? Devin Haney. We all know him. A duck. And y'all some. Ooh. All right. Take it easy, champ. Y'all going to get you up out of here. We ain't doing that over here. Y'all got them wrenches. Y'all know what to do. They talking foul. Got to get them out of there. We ain't having it. Uh, We don't disrespect y'all. We ain't tolerating it. Y'all know we're we going to have to get you up all the way. You got one more time. Lewis 4500. Uh, see, see that? Good blessings. The world, life too short with all that foolishness. Tim Layton. Salute, squeeze. God bless. Thank you, man. I needed that after that foolishness. Black Fawns. Looney Tune. Sure, Whitley, Bruce Gaz, Boxing Jazz, and more. Appreciate y'all for coming and smash that like button, y'all. Exile Loco Kio. Yeah, man, we in the we in the living and surviving over here, man. We ain't for that little chump stuff, little girl stuff. Um. Okay, let's see who else. Yeah, hey, man, come over and talk boxing. Um, Bray Marlin, and Destin Edible. Check on y'all people. Yo, it's a car flipped over on 695. I'm not surprised, man. I'm not surprised. That's the raceway. I um ride through there every morning. It's crazy. D for the win. People can people just won't slow down. They won't slow down, yo. Smash that like button coming in. Smash it, y'all. All right, yo. We about to get into it. Man. Delicious. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Usyk versus Tyson Fury. And should Anthony Joshua fight Parker be next also. So uh see Irvin the Wiz switch blade in the building. So man, let me go into my family in the chat, y'all. Let's chop it up like chop soy. Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Bray Marlin. Uh Looney Two. Damn. Did my super chat show up? I ain't see it. Uh Looney Tunes. I ain't see it. Nope, not yet. I didn't see it, champ. There go, champ. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Looney Tunes, thanks for the color in the chat. Can you ask Coach Calmar? We getting new episodes of Strap Season. I sure will. The next time I, I talk to him. Thanks for the uh, support. Uh, yeah, Usyk versus Tyson Fury. How y'all like that? Let me hear what y'all guys say. Let's type talk boxing styles. Do y'all think Usyk will be able to? Get in. Hey, Miss Yaya in the building. Hey, Queen. Long time. No see. Um, Miss Yaya in the building. Um, peace and blessings. Yeah. Uh, what do y'all think, man? Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Um, how it play out. What do Usyk have to do to dethrone the gypsy king 
Yeah, y'all said Miss Yaya in the chat, y'all. What do y'all think Usyk need to do to beat Tyson Fury? Let me see where y'all boxing skill at. We going to talk boxing tonight. Forget the foolishness. Um, I think Usyk can get it. I think Usyk can get it. Um, Coach Calvin in the building. What's up, Squeeze? All right, talking boxing, chopping it up. We just, I just came on too, so uh, we talking Usyk versus Tyson Fury, and I'm asking everybody in the chat, what do Usyk? I want to see their boxing knowledge. What do Usyk have to do to pull this fight off? What are the tail of the tape? And the keys to victory for Usyk to pull us off. You want to chime in on that, coach? So all you gotta do is keep doing what he been doing. That's why he got. That's why he got the fight. That's the tail of the tape. If you look at how he's been fighting, he's been doing a great job. I, I had the same conversation on um, PBC. You know what I thought about Usyk and. Um, What's his name? You look at Fury last fight, he didn't look too good. You get what I'm saying? You're only as good as your last performance. Smoothie King, right back at you. Putting that health smoothie in me, champ. Hold on. Which one? <laughs> All right. Hold him. Hold on. You asked, right? All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Currents, watermelon. Um, I put... Uh, Extra virgin olive oil, black seed oil, and garlic. Okay, that's smooth. So the watermelon was my water. Yeah, it's strap season over here. No meat. I ain't had no meat in six weeks. It's strap season over here. You ain't the only one walking around with strap season on you. Smoothie can get strap season over here. Yeah, it's on and popping. Looney Tune. Thanks for the color in the chat. Can you ask Coach Kevin, are we getting new episodes of Strap Season? Because we fast in this, 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 this Ramadan, I mean, this Ramadan is a little bit different. And the approach is a little bit different because of uh, the new situation. Um, a new Muslim on deck. I've been doing it for years, fasting and training at the same time. So I had to do things a little bit different. Because he want to get the full effect of Ramadan. Okay. Okay, no. there y'all go. Coach Calvin, put it down for you. I'm going to share with you. Say what's up, Coach uh, Calvin. Cosmic Lando, what it do? Uh, Definite Edibles, Definite Edibles say Spawn was great at the gym today. It was. It was. The youngins or the, or the pros? Uh, the youngins. Okay, who Spawn? The whole damn gym. Okay. The whole shebangy. That's good. They're keeping the love up. Every like athlete that. you got in there sparred tonight. I know I did a whole show the last time I was there. And it was another one tonight. That's good. It was an audience. The, the five year olds almost stole the show again. Jelly Bean. Oh, yo, them two little chumps right there. Uh, Whoa. They bring that fire, man. I tell uh, my little baby, I tell my little baby boy it's showtime. I said, yo, your little brother, you better watch him. Uh, <laughs> I always say that little brother be that dude. Yeah, he could crack. Mm -hmm. He got some pop, yo. Mm -hmm. And he come forward. Yeah, he don't be playing. Jelly Bean was on his toes, eating punches early. Then yeah. Jelly Bean start dropping the Right hand, and, 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 and my boy was coming in, but he like coming forward. He throw caution to the wind. It was a barn burner. Mm, mm, mm. That was a pay per view event the night. Well, usually you don't talk that excited about the amateurs unless it's the pee wee. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they the only they ones hold me. They the they only ones. Oh man, man, shoot, that's the whole thing. They don't get it. 
That's where the seed is planted. A flower don't grow if you don't plant no seed. Hold on, Steve. I'm supposed to be fighting tonight. Hold on for this. Okay, coach. Um, Boy, Looney Tune, I, I think Furry one. too big, but Usyk boxing ability, he may take it. Uh, let me catch it. Squeeze him back. All right, Tim Layton. I'm reading some of the comments off. Usyk needs to keep <laughs> moving and fight. Like how he fought AJ the first fight. Take away Fury Power hand. Keep turning him. Okay, Tim Layton. Okay, Tim. We on the same page, Tim. Fun fun fight Death's inedible. First close the distance. Second, take away Fury Jab. Third, don't let Fury impose his size on him. Um, let me see who else. Switchblade say three and five punch combo. R Rashad wanna say Usa gotta stay in the pocket. Uh, let me see who else we got in here. Miss Yaya say, Inshallah. Uh, Ruthless Squad Game and say, Yo, yo, coach. Oh, yeah, that sounds good, Tim Layton. Lawns ain't no meat in it. Coach I ain't doing no meat. Coach Calvin. Lately, you know. Uh, Coach Calvin. Coach Calvin, I got you. He got two more fights before he fight. I got you. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm trying to get it on my computer. Oh, all right. I'm a, oh, I can't even see it. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I get it. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Brother Fanon in the building. Hey, hold on, man. Let me get this. Hey, what's good, y'all? All right, let's go. Talk to For non international right, boxing in the building, uh, I would have gave you a better intro, but I ain't know uh, the powers to be was bringing you on. My apologies, sir. Hey, man, uh, ain't nothing. I would have, I would have put a suit on when I brought you <laughs> in. We, you know, we just don't bring. Certain people in all playing jobs <laughs> over here. So, uh, <laughs> my pardon, not my dust. <laughs> man, you wild, man. What's going on, man? Man, I'm chilling, brother. I'm chilling, man. What's up with I'm you, man? I'm in the building when I'm here in the building, baby. The people coming. So, I know y'all coming over here, man. You, you should have let them know ahead of time because you know when br Brother Fanon come, the floodgates open. <laughs> wow. Up, we talking about, hey, it is what it is, babe. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, Usyk versus Tyson Fury, uh, Brother Fanon. What do Usyk needs to do to pull this off if you think he can? She, he need to land that straight left. He need to straight, he need to land that straight left, and he need to stay awake he, and prevent Usyk, prevent Tyson Fury from grabbing him, prevent him from wrestling him, and be able to just score on him, man. If he can score on him, he can throw that straight left, land that straight left, and he can keep that jab down. And he doesn't overreact to them faints, because you know Tyson Fury love them faints, man. Love to faint to death. He'll faint you to death. So as long as he don't do that, man, and he can keep him from mauling him and grabbing him, laying on him, pulling on his neck, he can do all of that, man. He got a good shot of winning that fight, man. You know? It what, looks like to me. What percentage? If you would give a percentage, what percentage would you get? Man, I got it like, ah, oh, man, 52, 52, 48 Fury. Okay. 52-48 Fury, because I ain't going to underestimate Usyk. 
Usyk is a strong dude. Usyk can fight, man. Southpaw stance is the same stance that gave Tyson Fury problems against Otto Wallen. Um, man, he's already proven, man, and he's at the top level of the game by beating, you know, by beating um, Fury, by beating uh, Anthony Joshua twice. Man, Usyk un being undisputed at cruiserweight. I think, man, I think, and if it wasn't for the size, I think Usyk's the better fighter, you know, and under and underestimated fight, under, under underestimated underestimated power, underestimated skill. I just think he's a better fighter, but he's just smaller. If these dudes were the same size, there'll be no doubt in my mind Usyk would win. I feel exactly the same way. I think he was looking off my cheat sheet. Um, <laughs> no, not being rude. Um, every word you just mumbled and the fashion that you said it in was on my cheat. Sheet. Yeah, you got a smile. Yeah, smoothie king, right back at you. What I not on my chopping it up with my good brother for non boxing in the national channel in the build. The movie stars have came out. Y'all know the show Hollywood Squares. I got Coach Calvin up in the right, and I got my boy Fanon in the bottom. Friend. The money man. What's up, Fernand? Long time. Hey, man. man. You, hey, 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 Cal Coach Calvin. Right here. Hey, you didn't see? You, did you see it, dog? You know I'm gonna come over here. I'm about to brag a little bit. Do y'all get to see? Did you get the tape? Did you see the tape? The uh, the the the, the, the Ron the tape. Nah, dog. The Fanon and Bill Haney tape. No, I ain't see that one. I missed that one. Oh yeah, I gotta dog. give you the straight direct number, man. It called to put this in that direct to me. Uh, oh, dog, you gotta go check out the debate, dog. Hey, man, <laughs> Bill, Bill fucked up and jumped on the channel, bro. Bill didn't like that. Bill, Bill didn't like that, dog. He didn't. No, nah, man, you gotta check out. It's a long ass conversation we had, man. It was seven hours the day before you. Oh, it was seven hours yesterday, man. Is it a certain link I need to get you? Huh? Is it a certain link I need to get you? It's on your channel. It's on. It's on um, oh, I'm gonna get on my uh, channel. No, it's on my YouTube channel. If you ever want to jump on my YouTube, all, all you got to do is ever just come anytime. But I ain't trying to press you. I know you got a, I got a camp coming up. I just want to let you know, man, that they, that they, that Bill tried to jump me, man. Bill tried to jump me for defending Tank on that sparring tape. So we went through the whole sparring tape. <laughs> I know, man. He always tried. Then he, 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 he told Ronan, didn't I get my money? That's because he didn't get stopped. <laughs> he got that money, but his son damn sure got that ass whooping. Yeah, man. When people ask me questions about that, I sit there and just shake my head, you know? Yeah, man. So what else is up, man? That's, I just wanted to jump in because y'all wanted to rap, man. No, no, no. I'm glad to hear from you, man, because you always come up with that realness, man. Um, I I'm just looking forward to, forward to the fight, time. man. I'm looking forward to the fight, man. I'm looking for the fight. Do y'all know when? Me. You ain't got to tell me. You can just tell me if you know when. I you ain't got to tell me. The dates right now, because everybody said the 15th, and um, that can change anything, you know. But um, we looking forward to it, too. <laughs> we just wait. We just waiting, man, and um, it's going down. That's all I can say. It's definitely going down. He's he's, he's motivated. Um, uh, he's focused. It's like it's like it's like uh, I was. It's, it's like uh, a new baby coming. You know. Oh man. Yeah. So it's like a new baby coming. You know, when when, when it's time to get back in that ring, fighters have man. They 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 go to another level. Like it's Christmas. So right now I just can't wait. We um we doing what we normally do, um and putting it together, man. Today was real interesting. Um, another dull moment with them. So you guys been oh, in camp already? You know that I. <laughs> you know me. I saw the one thirty eight. I saw the one thirty eight. That he's winning one thirty eight. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, that's what it is. What you think about Ryan? Um, Ryan and um, what he's going through right now? Yeah, man. Like, well, like I said, I don't want to put you in no crazy positions. So you know, you can say you well, can give I mean, me a no comment not, anytime not, you want to. That's not Ron's um, 
that's that's his, I mean, you know, he's been going through mental health for a while. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the only fighter that go go through that situation. I'm over here, you can ask me, ain't no gag order on me. And, hey, what um, you think? <laughs> what you, uh, what, you, what you think, Squeeze? I'm gonna I'm gonna let, 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 let Big let Cole get out of that one. Let let Cal and, get finished and then and, I'm um, gonna you know, but it's not his okay. first time that he was going through that before he took the tank fight, remember? Yeah, I do. Remember, and he came out looking good at his last fight. I mean, not his last fight, but when he fought against us, you know what I'm saying? So again, he said he looked good. I thought I I could remember. I could have sworn I saw an ass whooping take place. No, he did, but I'm just sitting there saying he came out with the with a positive energy of a. Fight. Oh, okay. He, when I when I when when people ask me why I won with um won against Devin because I seen some things that made me look. Say, yo, he really was trying to fight Tank. You're know saying, but Tank is a different type of beast. You know what I'm saying? If you look at them rounds, he was putting in work. He was yeah. putting in work. He was putting in legit work. You know what I'm saying? But it was things that we knew. You know what I'm saying? That time was running out for him. But if you look at look at the first shot Tank caught him with. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm gonna give it up to you. When he got hit in the face, the first thing went to his mental. He flashed back when he got knocked down by what's his name. Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell. So if you go back and watch the fight, when he got hit with that shot and got up, he was protecting the head. So he left the one open. Left that body open. Boom. Done deal. With the same shot that he threw, two people to the body. (laughs) You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, left hook to the body. Same shot he likes. Same shot that he likes. You know what I'm saying? So... When I sit there and, 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 and look at it, it's like he said to himself, nah, man, I ain't going to continue this. That's two times. He's saying the dude got some real pop. I ain't trying to get with this. You know, so when you sit there and look at the Devin and um and um, Ron fight, Devin ain't been, like, hurting nobody like that. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to be eager to keep pushing the way he was pushing against us. And if you go look at that fight, he was pushing them first six rounds. He was pushing. He was. He was. He was coming at the tank the whole time. Yeah, he was pushing. But you know what we knew? Everybody, everybody talked about the fight. You know what I'm saying? The fight is the fight. It's just how long can you hold up? You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why Martin, Martin is a good, good fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's African American. He got a, he got a good team and whatnot. But this 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 camp is different. That's why I always expound on the camp. This 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 camp is hard for a coach to teach a fighter the mental aspect of a fight. You know what I'm saying? And being in this situation that we are in, his mental is it's, it's different because in his mind ain't nothing can stop. Him. Yes, sir. Man, I'm looking forward to it, man. And you guys, don't, you don't know what city is. It's rumors it's going to be in Houston. It's rumors. It's rumors. But you know, I'm not going to uh, do that. No. Whenever y'all but, find out, though, man, this time I'm going to come. This time I'm going to this time I'm gonna show up. That'll be an honor. That'll be an honor. It appears to be, once they put it out there for everybody to see where it's going to yes. be, then, then that's where it's going to be. So right now, I'm just, I, I don't have a, a gag order, but I'm trying to get on that that information level where they say let them know what's going on you know say you know at certain levels they don't say nothing yeah to so i'm trying to get in that level where i know and strategize how i deal with certain things because that's part of that's part of preparation for fight you know what i'm saying i'm knowing where you're going to be at how you're going to deal with so i can send scouts out to see how to um how the area is how you know you have to know that so you can you know how to deal with certain things it's like it's like sending somebody into behind the enemy lines before it even happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Well, you know, if it's Texas, Texas is in June is hot as shit. Yeah, like, see, they think she needs to know. A, that shit's hot. Let me tell you, man. It's a, it is hot as shit mm-hmm. in June. Like right. you can, if if you fight in June, you can bet. That between you gonna have about ten. You gonna have if you just say, and I ain't saying this day. Say the date is June nineteenth, mm-hmm. and you get when you get like two. Say you come in two weeks in advance. Mm-hmm. You gonna get you gonna get fifteen hundred. You gonna get fifteen hundred and ten degree days. Mm. That shit is fucking scorching. 
Yeah, yeah, she was scorching. Let me get this chat out the way. These chats been up here for a minute. I've been trying to let y'all rap, but I don't want nobody to get upset at me because that's what they're going to do. So yes, sir. Getting right back at you with another one. This Yaya Lean, thanks for the color in the chat. Coach Calvin, sending you and your family, my love, this Ramadan. Solid echo. Uh, Smoothie King, right back at you. With another one, Exile Loco Kio. Thanks for the color in the chat. It's going to be some mad podcasters tonight. <laughs> Smoothie King, right back at you. With another one, Jay Breezy. Thanks for the color in the chat. All oh, shit, they teaming up like the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, they understand. They understand. They understand power. You know what I'm saying? We got to work together to come together. Now let me let me answer what Calvin can't answer. Please, I've been please. sitting in the wings patiently. Um, about Ryan, you gotta understand. Uh, and you know, uh, brother Fanon, um, Ryan was raised different from the a lot of the other fighters. You know, he had a, a what we would say a, a, a little bit more a little bit more stability far as having a mom, dad, dad, dad. He don't know where they really like to be on hard times. So when he got to this level of success, it's like shocking to him. He don't know how to maintain a certain mental aspect of, hey, accept that you on this level, work hard, stay there. As you can see, he's jumping all over the place. One minute he in, one minute he out, one minute he talking about uh, his Lord and Savior, then the next minute he going off. He's saying things that he don't supposed to be saying out of his mouth, you know. So, you know, everybody just keep him in your prayers. He young. He got to find his way. You know, he's still yeah. finding his way. I was that age. I had to find my way. Me I too, was too. that age. He had to find his way. So what makes it even more detrimental? Because now social media is involved in it. Our lives, everybody ain't know what we was doing when we was young because social media wasn't prevalent like that. So by right. social media being prevalent like it is, everybody's taking this journey with them and seeing it firsthand. And the looks we get was like, did he just say that? Stuff like that. So I think he really need to deal with that. With he, whatever he's dealing with off of social media. Social media don't need to see that healing process that he needs to take. And social media can be very unkind. Man. They can be very un unforgiving. You know, so that's that's my interpretation. That's my take on that. I think he really need to take some time off after he get these fight in and find himself. Well, With well, me. again, like I said, again, the last fight, he went through the same thing. And he came up place. He put all that behind. He cried about the weight, the weight drain and everything. He came up place and put on good, great six rounds. You know what I'm saying? But again, that's just his MO. You know, I see a lot of fighters going through what they're going through. You know, a lot of them. I, I, I don't want to name a lot of them, but if we go back and look at some of the fighters and all the stuff that they've been going through, you know, and then still getting that ring, I salute. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to use one person because it's just the toughest guy. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson used to go through what he used to go through. Remember? And still come out to be what he used to be. Um, all fighters that's that type of fighter, they can say, you know, um, um, go through what they go through. Brody go through what he went through. Some of them go through things, they just quiet, they're not on social media, so we don't get to see some of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But if you look yeah. at Ron's career, Ron's career is based on social media. You know what I'm saying? If you look yeah, at his followers, his followers came from where social media, <laughs> you know. so Sometimes when I sit back and see Ron do certain things, that's his thing. That's his way of connecting with his followers. <laughs> you with me? Yes, sir. So, and, and 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 his works. That's marketing. You know what I'm saying? 
he's mocking it. And when you sit back and see that he come around, it's just how he do what he do. Um, a lot of fighters go through a lot of things, and some of them are quiet with it, and some of them are, 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 are outspoken with it, you know. But it's a lot of fighters go through a lot of stuff, man, and you ask yourself, hey, what's going on with them? They fighters. They do go through a lot of stuff. But I commend them that they suck it up and do their job like they wanted to do, or like they do do. You know, I'm going to mention one more person. Charlo was going through what he was going through. Remember? You know what I'm saying? And came out and had yeah. a great performance. Came out and had a great performance. That's why I salute him. Um, um, Earl Spence went through what he was going through. You know what I'm saying? Came out, still performed. You know, so it's a lot of them fighters do go through a lot of things, you know. And, and, and when you're dealing with fighters all the time, especially me, I have different type of fighters. And they all have their own different lanes and their own situations that they're going through. You know, and to suck it up and get back in that ring and handle that business, man, that's a salute because you got to stay mentally focused getting in that ring when somebody trying to hit you in your mouth. Mm. So that's yes, my take. <laughs> Okay, so brother Fanon, he did. He ain't put no uh no comment on you. He he went in for you, brother Fanon. He went Ryan, in. You know, he's supporting Ryan. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, and as somebody yeah. that I've had my own battles with, you know, if anybody know, well, uh, I've had my own my own battles with, you know, having my dome get shook up a little bit. So I know what it, you know, I know what it is, man. And, so and no, it, 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 it'll make it tougher. I'm gonna give you one. Me getting locked up. What'd you say? Me getting locked up. Me getting arrested. Sent back into the jails. And then the jails are different from what I went in from. Man, uh, I had to go back on a different level, man. Now, now if you talk to senior, senior, I ain't the same person ever. <laughs> I ain't the same person, man. You know, hmm. and then, well, me and Young and Chalk, he said, say, yo, you see how shit can change overnight? Just like that. Like that, I was that shit could that's zero. That you know shit happened. Yo, man. I, ain't, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. A friend of mine from, from um, California called me and said, "Yo, you, is you is you talking to somebody?" And I didn't get what he was talking about, but he understood what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I ain't lying. Look at saying, "Yo, I'm doing everything in my power to stay straight," and it seemed like they trying to pull me back, and that can make a person snap, yo. Say fuck everything. Excuse my friends and fans. Yeah, but it'll make you say forget everything. I'm going back like I used to be, and people don't know me how I used to be. You know, I was no no nonsense, period. You know, so I thank my Lord that Ramadan is here, and you know, just trying to just pray for all my demons and stuff to keep them in check. Hey man, that shit will make it. Hey, when your shit gets shook. <laughs> like all, like your shit gets shook, like you walking down the street and some shit you ain't never thought was gonna happen again happens. You be like, man. "Oh fuck, I did all this shit all this time," and you always an inch away from it, man. It'll yeah. make you thankful. It'll make you lock your shit down. Yeah, and double so check and stuff. Said, you said it makes you thankful, but I understood my mission from my Lord. He needed me to see something that my work just not just in the gym. We have a lot of youngins in Baltimore need help, man. I mean, they truly need help. And they try to pass this juvenile law. And and I've seen it sitting where I was sitting at. A lot of bodies are going to come out of city jail. And people keep asking me. I said, yo, because they don't have no sense of direction. And the period of time I was sitting there for 20 days, man, them jokers are off the change. <laughs> and they, yeah. and they, they tell you the truth. They don't want to be off the chain. They want help. They was raised off the chain, man. Yeah, they want help. And, you know, and sometimes they just, you know, you know how Squeeze said it, man. That's so, you got too much access to things that makes you think you Superman when they don't get a chance to grow, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Grow and, and, and learn our mistakes and go to things. They, they want to put it in the microwave and they hear that bell go, ding, it's done. <laughs> It ain't like that. Like like That's crazy, you man. Get very well said, Coach Calvin. You 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 put it in the microwave, you're gonna get microwave results. Yeah. Very quick. 
and with the quick results, is never a foundation. Nope. And that's what they miss. You spinning, you spinning the tail. That's why I love when I get to the gym and uh I interact with the kids in my mind when I'm interacting with them, I gotta ask myself, hey, this is more than just boxing. You're 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 mentoring the kids also. You, you, you're teaching them people skills. The night two little pit bulls went at it, and one of the pit bulls cussed at the other one. They was like, Ray Fightland. We was like, whoa, we don't do that in here. So they took them out the ring, got on them, made them do 100 push-ups, and then brought them back in the ring. So we teaching them how to channel their anger without the wrong violence, but violence all the time. So people think it's more, we, sometimes we pushed into those roles because we might be talking to a kid and we'd be like, he ain't something ain't right. Calvin will pull him over. Kenny will pull him over. Senior will pull him over. Ask him, hey, everything all right? Everything good? So it's, we reaching the kids, man, one child at a time, man. It's a building block, you know, and if you ain't in, get out. If you ain't in, get out. That's what we've been doing at Upton since I've been at Upton almost 20 years now, man. It's it, The mission never waved it. Calvin never waved it. So I can understand when he say that that almost broke him to the point of no return. Because he ain't see it coming. Them the ones that hurt the mind. The punch you don't see. The punch you don't see. When I walked out that gym that day, man, I had a little kid. I called him Showtime, man. One of the, one of the, one of the, the slickest little youngin. And Squeeze talking about his little brother. He got little brothers. I don't know. He's on his heels right there at that age. And he told me, he said, Coach Calvin, you know I left football, man. I'm standing in the gym with you all the time. And I was like, yeah, all right. All right. All right. All right. You didn't tell me anything. And I left out. Before I left out, he said, Coach Calvin, I love you. I kid ain't never tell me that. And I'm walking out. Kenny stopped me. He said, yo, you know the policeman watching your car all day? I said, oh, they're my bodyguards. And I walked across the street. Next thing I know, I seen the police jumped out. So happened, I knew who he was. He said, yo, you got a warrant in Nevada. I said, Nevada? I ain't never been in Nevada. He said, man, Vegas. Next thing I know, I'm sitting in city jail. But the thing that- I, was was I ain't never- <laughs> So I ain't never been in Nevada. <laughs> Never mind that TV footage. I ain't never been in the van. Yo, Calvin, the <laughs> Yo said it with a straight face. I, I did. Never been to no when he said the van, I'm thinking somewhere else. I'm not, you know, Vegas is big. I ain't yeah. saying the van. Yeah. Right. I would have liked to see the facial expression on them when you said that. Man, I ain't yeah. never been in the van. Smoothie King, right back at you. <laughs> but another way, she loving the my high Lord Tank Gang peoples. Thanks for the color in the chat. Always supporting us. I know y'all hear the steps. They coming. Uh oh. <laughs> so in that process, man, they could not tell me what I was being locked up for. And then when he said there and say assault with a deadly hand weapon, I said, What? You get what I'm saying? That really threw my life. Man, I'm like racing my mind, like, yo, I ain't do nothing. I don't even carry no weapons. You know? Yeah. Man. But, you know, like I said, when I went to jail, I had a chance. I knew why I was there. I had a chance to talk to a lot of youngins, a lot of people and whatnot. And the respect and the work that I had been doing in the city and had been doing, it showed. Because I was hearing guys, I never said, man, they're trying to take our coach from us, man. You know? I was like, God, day, you know? So you know, but Yo, again, that I ain't gonna when I came in and I heard that man, all the life was sucked out of me. I was in disbelief, like Calvin said when they said Nevada. I had the same damn look on my like Calvin. Stop man. playing, yo. Stop playing. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Uh one of our queens, Miss Yaya Lean. Thanks for the color in the chat, coach. Did they tell you what I offered? I told to call me. I got him no strings attached. 
ask Coach Squeeze. <laughs> Stop a nickel, sis. I ask Squeeze off the air. <laughs> you know, yep. <laughs> you know, it's Ramadan, girl. <laughs> no, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. All right. This this is a good thing. Okay, I'm doing the field. Can you squeeze? I've been I've been around since boy. She ain't no joke. <laughs> this is a good she ain't thing. No joke. <laughs> It's a good, that's a good thing. Cal Al Cool, it would it do, man? One of my big sponsors for the smoothie program, man. Cal Al Cool, it. God bless you, man. Giving from your heart, man. Like man, you, Cal Cool is the man. Um, for yeah. those kids, Cal Cool. What's the man. smoothie program? What's the smoothie program? Yeah, um, I've been doing the smoothies for the last two years. A little more, um, take the donations, man. The kids be running me down his back, get ready, jumping. And I, I they, think he put something in the smoothie, yo, because they run him down like he the dope man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've been training. We be in the middle of training. They be like, yo, I'm trying to get into smoothies, bro. I'm like, yo, stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to knock them out, up. if you want to knock them out, get them a smoothie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I be saying. I be seeing all the kids coming like, oh, like I was in line for that smoothie. Yeah, they standing at the smoothie uh, at the at the kitchen like they at the water cooler talking about the TV show. That's like drinking this drinking this smoothie. I said, man, squeeze got them going, boy. You know, like, I know it's two years squeeze. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's a blessing, man. The um that God touched me to come up with something that was catchy. And it's standing the test of time, and just to see the kids' faces, and even the parents, man, um, when they when they taste the smoothies, it's changing lives. Cause a lot of people, like man, a lot of the parents say, man, I went home tried to make a smoothie like you, and I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> you know, they was like, I ain't like you, and I want some squeeze smoothies, and um, it's just that. I've been doing it so for a long time. I could do it closing my eyes now, man. Little tricks of the trade. So, inshallah, this summer, God willing, I'll be able to uh, do it. I'm going to have like three or four smoothie machines going at one time for people that want a veggie smoothie, um, different type of ones, a beet juice. But, um, we're going healthy everything this summer. You know, so for the fighters, that's cutting weight. I'm gonna have certain smoothies for them. So uh inshallah, man. I just I'm just thankful for all the people that supported the um smoothie program, man, and everything we do. Shout out to Miss Tanya with the school supplies, the soup. Coach Calvin called me the soup man this winter. So yeah, you've been doing a little bit of everything, y'all. Yeah, That's my man, squeeze. Yeah, yo, just they just blessings, man. I'm leaving. Uh, I'm trailblazing. You know, when 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 the Lord, good Lord, tap you home, what memories you gonna leave? A positive, lasting memory. You know what I mean? So that's all I uh focus on doing, man. Yeah, brother Fanon, you froze. Hey, uh, hold on. You froze, brother. You mean mugging us on the last shot we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but um, what y'all think about Coach Calvin Joshua uh versus Parker? If is if that's next, who you liking that? If that was the uh come to fruition. Oh, this 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 Kenny, y'all. All right, well, go ahead, Cal. Oh, uh, ask us who you like in that. Which one? Uh Joshua versus Parker. Be next. Who would you like? Joshua versus versus Parker. Who would I like? That might be a good rumble. That might be a good scrap. Yeah, I like. I I. I uh, I'll get what Parker got to do to pull that off. What's the tail to the tape for Parker? Parker got to Parker got to be active. He got to move, move his feet, stay busy. 
Okay, okay, squeeze. Shout out okay. to Fanon. Brother Fanon, okay. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Fanon International Boxing Channel. Thanks for the color in the chat for the smoothies. Yeah, you can throw it, throw some in the cash app. You know how they is. They put their hand in on that. Mm -hmm. They put their yeah. hand in on that. The smoothies, you could do the cash app. Tyrone Palmer, dollar sign, coat squeeze. Well, that way, I go get the smoothie supplies and make sure my babies get it. You know, when you go through the system, they always throw some dirt in the game. Well, what do you say? Um, um, Joshua, you know, Joshua already beat part of the squeeze. He did? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, what about a second? Would, would y'all like to see a second one? <laughs> Miss Just Do, click the link, Miss Just Do. You see it. Click the link. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, I'll take it. Hey, I'm about to roll out. I just want to let y'all know, man. I appreciate y'all. It's getting a little late. I'm falling asleep. But I'm gonna I'll hit you on the Cash App. You prefer the Cash App? Yeah, yeah. Because that way they can't. Take yeah, you the get government. it immediately. Can't you get it immediately. Yeah. Hey, Fanon, let me ask you a question, Fanon. If I should, if I was to show a fight on USA Boxing, would that affect my YouTube? Hell yeah, they'll demonetize your ass, give you a copyright strike, take your channel, all that shit. That's what I thought. And I got one more question. Yeah, I was on your podcast the other day, and um, somebody gave me their word, told me they was coming through, but they ducked me. Oh, you I, oh, you talking about Bill? I wasn't gonna say no names, you know what I mean? But you know hey, I mean? Why, hey, why dog, you, you mean Bill said he's gonna city? come to? Why the mixtape to avoid my city, man? We Baltimore show love, dog. Dog, Bill took an ass whooping the other day. Now, <laughs> Bill took an ass whooping the other day. I don't know why he came crazy like that, dog, but he took that <laughs> ass whooping yesterday. I don't even be trying to do it like that. That man took that ass whooping. Uh, so, crazy. he... Of all the people he messed with, I don't know why he tried to mess with you. I have no idea why he did that shit. That, that's that, out of his league. Man, look, dude. That shit was a bloody... Man, that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I like, I, I have no idea why people do that shit, man. Like, do that shit. I mean, I know I'm gonna talk. I'm just talking to y'all. I hope ain't too many. It's like 138 people. Like for real, man. I fucking have I know how to do that. Why <laughs> are you fucking with me? Like, that's like me want man. Me, that's seriously, man. That's like me walking into a gym and slapping tank in the mouth. Fuck you, tank. <laughs> like, come on, man. So anyway, you know, you know, Bill ain't gonna show up again, dog. Oh, you didn't see Squeeze? I'm going to talk some shit. Can I talk squeeze shit for a second, Squeeze? Feel Please. free. Hey, did I did I not make him stop talking to me? Did I? Did I? A Bill who talks to everybody all day says all kinds. Did I not get him to say, you're right. I'm done. Can I talk to somebody else? <laughs> did I, hey, I? Hey, I need a witness, dog. Did that shit happen or did that shit listen, not happen? Listen, 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 listen. You got more than a witness. My phone was going crazy. Tune in to Fanon. Tune in to Fanon. Fanon fry. It's a free fish fry over there. Damn. Cooked them. Man, listen. Listen, that was terrible. Then he, Fanon said he was going to drop the link. My phone went crazy again. You got to be first. You got to be first. So I had to jump on that for that. Yeah, oh, no. Fanon definitely fried his ass. Look, man. Bill don't. Bill listening right now. Bill, dude, don't do that to me. Never, never again, bro. I don't got to watch that. Don't do it, I'm man. Because these dudes be sending it. Dog, look, man. I got a fucking videotape of Tank whooping his ass. <laughs> he had a videotape. <laughs> it's on fucking tape. That, that, was, that was edited. That was a highlight tape. Dude, it's edited with 25 consecutive punches. <laughs> it's 25 consecutive punches. And then he said, where do you see? Dude, he literally said to me, where do you see Tank hurting him? I was like, do you not see that black glove dead in the middle of your son's face? <laughs> it's dead in his face. His head like this is dead in his face. Black glove on nose. <laughs> like, dude, man, why? Because he didn't trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. These dudes. 
they do not understand. You can't just say anything to any damn body and then believe it. You just because a bunch of people tell you that they believe what you're saying. There's 15 people telling you that they believe what you're saying. There's 300 people thinking you out your mind. Mm -hmm. They just ain't saying shit. Dude, everybody knows damn well. Tank Devin is not the face of box. I didn't even talk about that when they brought up the face of box. And I just like, please don't bring that up to me. <laughs> Tank did 1.2 million pay-per-views in his last fight. How was Tank formerly the face of boxing? Listen, How I does thought, that work? I thought he was going. I thought he was going to come over here so we could have chopped it up. That's what I. Thought. Man, hell no, <laughs> because Doug's he's not coming, bro. He's not coming. If he comes over here, I'm. I mean, seriously, man, I got a lot of respect for Bill already, because what you're doing for your son, what you take care of your son, and all of that, and you do what you got to do. I I got a lot of respect for that. But for real, a bad argument is a bad argument, bro. Mm -hmm. Bad argument is a bad argument. Tank is what Tank is, man. Tank is what he is, man. You can't take that shit from that kid. Thanks, Lord Tank Dang, and the cash app. Thanks, Tank. Ain't no denying that. You can't take what he got, man. It's he got it. That's his. That's his road. Thank you. She loving the my high for the support and the cash app, man. For the and kids, man. And cat, I'm sorry. And cats be like, hey, man. You know, you riding for Tank. I'm not even riding for Tank like that. I'm just telling you, you lying on the kid. Mm -hmm. You can't do, you can't say, Tank said, dude, and I play this shit every day. Tank said on your channel or on to Blue Blood, I cracked him. I cracked them both. Did he tell you that I almost knocked him out and he, that the first time I fought him, I had his daddy pulled him out the ring? And the second time I got him, I cracked him. And I almost knocked him out. And they were like, nah, man, I never saw that. But then they dropped the damn tape. <laughs> Once you saw the tape got dropped, that's it. There's nothing else to say. That's it's why just what it is. Question. That's why that was my question. Like, why are we talking about your son got Devin versus Ryan coming up? Why, why the fuck are we talking about an eight-year-old spawn tape? You know why he's talking, we talking about it? Because I've been cracking up on that shit for two straight weeks. You can say what you want to say. I'm petty as shit. I've been laughing at Devin Haney fans the entire time because I've been listening to people tell me oh, it's not even about Devin or Tank. I ain't never met Tank. I don't know Tank. I don't know him. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I know who he is. He may know what my face looks like if I walk by him in the street. But I, but even then, he may not know who the fuck I am. For all I know, I've never had a conversation with him. But, Doug, you've been out here. If you get caught telling a story... You got caught telling a goddamn story. The man punched you in your grill. The man hit you in the grill a bunch of fucking times, too. <laughs> I counted the punches. Did you count the punches? Yeah, yeah. Squeeze, did you did you count the punches? I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I could I stopped at a hundred. No, I mean for real. There was 25. I stopped at a hundred. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like I was like, like to me though, like honestly, like I wasn't surprised. Like, I like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really yeah, even see the tape. The man is 29 and 0 with 27 knockouts. He give you the same type of performance every yeah, time he's in the ring. So when that tape was released, like, like, okay, that's what I expected to see. Yeah, but that's because y'all seen him. That's because you yeah, guys are real. See, we see him all the time. We didn't need that. Uh to solidify nothing i'm glad for the people that was on the borderline of believing it or not because we ain't need it we already know so for the people to see it was refreshing but um when when him <laughs> said that um we got we got to watch what we say over there. When him, before we be on a mixed tour tape, when him <laughs> uh, did what he did, I wasn't surprised. But um, that was good. That was good. But he balked up the wrong tree with Brother Fanon with that, trying to overtalk somebody and everything. He ran up the right tree. And he was trying to spin that. They say pictures is of a thousand words and it don't need no truth. Mm -hmm. And 
him said, explained it just the way he said it. And if and, and I'm gonna take it even further. He was holding back what I saw. What I saw, he was holding back. He could have murdered that boy. Somebody told him, just work with him. He was working with him. What you saw was him playing with his food. You, it, it, He was an anaconda snake that night. He was playing for his food before he ate it. <laughs> and once he constrict, once they constrict around you, 500 pounds of pure PCI pressure. See, you good with those stats, brother Fanon. Help me out. Um, that's your ass. That's personal. Hey, man, that shit is wild, man, because I, I guess you're not supposed to say his name. So I say he shall, he shall, he who him. had punched you in your grill. Him punched him. Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> 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 So you talking about Hemothy? <laughs> Damn, dog, y'all wild with that shit. Hemothy, mm -hmm. man, I was like, man, what happened after he knocked him? See, I say, I'm, I see, I don't have no proof of this, but this is what I thought. This was just, just my speculation. After, after Hemothy was beaten up on Mister Haney, and and AB jumped on and pulled Hemothy off of him. I think I thought maybe what happened for the rest of it, he was like, man, don't hurt this kid. Don't don't hurt this kid. He a little tired. Let his confidence build up. You know what I mean? Just fight all the way through till you're done, till you're tired. Don't worry about the money. And that just kind of went like that. And then they were like, they were desperate because everybody was trying to rebuild him after that. You can hear like the tape where Floyd, where Floyd Sr. said, this was one way traffic and only... Hell no, that wasn't no damn one-way traffic. I know damn for sure. I know one person was lying for damn show. Mm -hmm. That's Floyd Mayweather Sr. Talking about that shit was yeah. one-way traffic. Yeah. That's a goddamn lie, Mr. 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 Mayweather. That mm -hmm. wasn't no one-way traffic. Mm -hmm. So anyway, man, I don't want to belabor the point, man, because you know y'all probably tired of it. But that was what it was, man. And and Bill, oh man, Bill will show up, man. Bill probably I don't know. I probably he probably won't, bro. Probably won't. You know, he know, he know. I guess he know what's coming. Man, right, closing, argue. Arg closing arguments, y'all. Man, appreciate for now for coming through. Shout out to everybody in the building. Super, thanks for the super chats, cash chats, and super thanks, man. It's always an honor and pleasure. Yeah, we got the great for yeah. international. Man, podcast. thank you, man. The rock and kick it with us yeah. on the Rise Podcast, man. Appreciate you for always supporting us and showing love. Man. Yeah. And man, anytime, man, anytime. I need yeah. to make sure you the only you the only live stream I really go on, man. Other you, than just do for a second. You want to so. you want to say something going out, brother? For now, nothing, man. Just buy the pay per view, man. When they announce these fights, man, so don't don't let these people hate on this young man, on Timothy and this young man mm -hmm. for what he's doing, brother. Because, hey, man, it is what it is, man. Dude, dude, dude's blessed, man. He had a hard life to begin with, from what I understand. But God is shining on that young man. And he at weighing one thirty eight point four, at for somebody that was missing missed weight a couple times, left the beta, lost the weight on the scale. This man seems like he is completely locked in. He's completely focused, and man, he and you know God's blessing him, man. And don't let these people hijack his prize. He if anybody under a hundred, if anybody ain't, if there's a face of box and it ain't Canelo, it's with it's the dude that sold one point two million pay per views and is sold out. City after city after city after city, and don't and man, don't support people stealing what somebody worked hard for, man. This shit ain't right. You don't gotta like, you don't gotta like him at the you ain't gotta like him. You can say whatever you want, dog, but don't take what's his. That shit ain't cool, man. Ain't nobody taking what's yours. You don't want nobody taking what's yours. Mm -hmm. So don't take away his hard work, man. Don't take away his yeah, special because he's special. Man. man, there's not too many people out there, especially you no know, 135 pounds. Flipping lights off like that. No. A, you know what I mean? That shit, that's a weight class where them shit's supposed to go 30. That shit's supposed to go 12 rounds at 135, 130. You ain't got too many people. And I saw him ringside, man. I'm telling you. I was watching that Leo Santa Cruz shit. That shit was freaky. <laughs>
that shit was free. I'm telling you, to see that in person, swinging that dude, I was like, is this nigga dead? <laughs> like, I was ringside for that, man. I was like, man, I've been ringside for a lot of fights, bro. I ain't never seen nobody body just life leave their body like that. The way Leo Santa Cruz just folded. Because so I was like, man, that's sh- we me, you were there, y'all there? Let me get this chat off out of here. Ahead, if, uh, if, get out. if no, you know, you remember Big Ray, right? You know, Big Ray that comes to your chat. Yeah, fun fun Ray. Who's fight. Big Ray? Big Ray that come through to your chat. His son about to fight fun fun, about to fight you on USA boxing, ring one about 10 right now. Big big Ray. Okay, okay, cool. I'll check it out. Smoothie yeah. King, right back at you with another one trade. Two W two four three four. Thanks for the call oh. in the chat. The crazy thing is, Bill is the one who was hyping up the tape before it came out. Him ain't never asked for it to come out. With that, y'all, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We could really go support one of our other fighters. He could really go down into the ring, as we always say on the Rise Podcast. Elwood, thanks for the love and the cash at too, brother Elwood. Peace and hey, grease. All right, brother Fanon. Beard group. Say you forgive, but don't forget it. Now you know how we do. Lock that back door, don't let no one through. I told Michi in these streets ain't no rules. He say, cause all oh, this life we ain't put on with this. Yeah. And I understand that this shit wasn't easy, but nigga, we did it. Yeah, yeah. All them hoes and all them niggas that wasn't fucking with us, then we them niggas. And now we rich now. We got money. I don't give a shit no. And we did it. Young nigga come off for nothing. Now he gets into them ridges. And it's the life of a young rich nigga.